a few pages to 
Amen. Aren't we glad about yeah. it too? Yes, Praise him. Lord. Pastor Terry, would you thank us, thank the Lord for us tonight? Yes, sir, you may. Power in the blood of Jesus. I want to, God has helped us so much. Uh, one of the things, reasons we're here is because of a servant of God who has meant so much to all of us, Reverend Helm, his life. Amen. And we've been uh, shared with and instructed, if possible, if God leads us to, if we can give a voice in the wilderness away. A few weeks ago, we had guests come in our sanctuary. And before the service was over, Janet Cochran gave him a voice in the wilderness. Now, there's not too many people would have that courage or know that God was leading them. But uh, the couple that came in, God has worked with so wonderful. They've been so hungry. They'd read a lot of part of it during that week. where They were back with us the next Sunday. They're traveling. They sing. But they're so excited with what God's doing. We had a, the opportunity to be with the Cochran's and them on a Friday night, and God worked in a wonderful way. When you find people that are hungry for God. But uh, what we also had an opportunity to, was to get to know Janet and Frank a lot better. Okay. And uh, I think when we can see what's inside of each, each other, yes. it's uh, wonderful. And it surely is. Amen. I would like for Butch, if you'll take the microphone to Frank and let him pray for us tonight. Mm -hmm. That's good. Amen. Our Father, we thank Thee, Lord, for this day, Father. We thank Thee for this service tonight. We thank Thee for each and every one that found their way out to the Lord's house. We thank Thee, dear Lord, for the men on the platform. We thank Thee for Terry, God, Father, and his life. Father, we just thank Thee, O God, Father, for Thy Son that died on Calvary's cross for our sins, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We pray, O God, for our souls each day, dear God. As we go up and down the road, as we work at our jobs, that Thou would be with us, that Thou would help us, O God, Father. We pray that the church will grow as Thou sees fit, O God, Father. We just pray in Thy holy name tonight that You'll bless the service. Yes, Father. We pray for the speaker, O God, tonight. Mm -hmm. Pray that You'll bless him, encourage him, yes. and help him to know that we will be praying for him. Mm -hmm. Father, we pray that You'll just bless and have Your own way, and we'll give Thee the praise. Amen. Amen. Now, this first song the choir is going to sing is somewhat like an Easter morning kind of song. <laughs> but the Lord directs for it to be sung on Wednesday night. But it's a good one anytime because it's Hallelujah. Yes. And it's Beethoven's Hallelujah.
Couldn't you feel the help of the Lord just as soon as she hit the piano? Pat, Sally, I don't know if you could feel that or not, but we were thankful. Oh, he's, he's wonderful, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's wonderful. Yes. And he's our eternal king. Amen.
had such wonderful worship already, haven't we? If we came looking for an opportunity to worship our God who's been so good to us, then we've had that opportunity to worship our eternal King. But God has more for us. Part of that is that we get to hear from our pastor tonight. He has a letter for us, and I'm looking forward, forward to hearing it as you do. Pastor Dave, could you read this for us? My dear people, how can we thank the Lord enough for one of the most wonderful Easter services at Scott Depot in almost 20 years together? The presence of the Lord was so evident and the it was so evident and the glory so great that I had to pray and plead for the spirit of composure to lead the service. His leading and presence was felt from the first moment the music committee began to pray until the final amen. Brother Morgan felt that it was the best Easter Sunday of his entire life. Only the Lord could give a service like that. May God grant that our future services at Scott Depot be deeper and fuller and richer in the days ahead. Prayer and obedience are the keys. I've been very busy in Ashburn, North Carolina. Each morning I rise early to read the Word and to prepare for the morning prayer meeting with Pastor Tom England and the staff. Toby was off work on Monday and attended the prayer meeting with us. At one point he broke and wept for a long, long time. It was one of the most cleansing, pure sounds that I have heard come from any person. God helped him and all of us. Each prayer meeting has been special. When I first laid eyes on our new granddaughter, I thought I was seeing one of the most beautiful baby girls ever born on this earth. Sharon Catherine is not only a beautiful child, but a quiet one. And she surely has brought a lot of joy to both parents, grandparents, and her aunt, Naomi. Wednesday, we dedicate her to Jesus during the midweek service. That's in Ashboro, yes. Since Pastor Tom has asked me to speak in that service, I'm writing this letter in the early afternoon in order to prepare for tonight. I know that you will enjoy hearing Jack Wrenchich here tonight in Scott Depot. He is very important in the Lord's work and in Dr. Helm's ministry. This morning, while on the telephone with Brother Helm, he spoke to me again that the pulpit of Jack Wrenchich reaches higher than he knows. May the Lord bless you in your service tonight, as well as in Ashboro, North Carolina. I love each one of you, your pastor, Oliver C. Hogue, P.S. Barbara sends her love and greetings to all of you. She stated that she would, like, would have liked to have been with us in that special Easter morning service. PPS. Isn't it wonderful that the Lord worked it so that we could have Naomi with us this week? God times things perfectly. Praise the Lord. Pastor Dave, could you pray for our pastor and for all of us as well? Our Father, we thank you so much for this letter, for this word from our pastor. We look forward to hearing from him. and We're grateful that he is willing uh, to give up his own ministry to follow you in prayer. And Lord, for whatever the reasons are, numerous as they may be, we're praying that you would accomplish that work, those works uh, in him, in those that he prays with, and in us. That each of us might be walking closer with you, Great. know you better. And that we might be able to fulfill the commission that you have laid upon us. Forgive us, Lord, where we fail. And we ask that you set our sights and our vision on the higher plane. And that we will be able to see the King in his beauty 
and view a land that stretches afar. We're thankful for the hope that dwells in our hearts. We're thankful that we could be together, that we could worship God this evening. Bless our pastor tonight. Anoint him as he preaches there in Ashboro. We pray that you would speak through him and to hearts. And may the word of God find fertile ground there. Oh, great. And uh, we're praying here tonight that you will help Brother Jack. Mm -hmm. And whatever's on his heart, that it will get within us. And uh, that you will anoint him. Help his throat, Lord. We pray. Just clear it up yes. and, uh, and help him tonight. For the glory of God. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Right, now, Anne is going to sing one of our pastor's favorite songs. One of ours, too.
How many of you know our brother Jack Renshaw? Oh, Jack, they know you. Yeah. How many? I was going to. My next question is: <laughs> How many of you love our brother oh, Jack? <laughs> That's all right. Well, our pastor knows that he has something to share with us tonight. I don't know about it, but Jack does. And Brother Jack, welcome to be with us. We do love you, and we're just waiting to hear whatever God has, has put on your heart or whatever it is you have to let us know about. 